Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So we know that in order to survive an, uh, a person, a human or animal or plant requires food, water and oxygen. We all need to breathe in order to survive and the gas that we take in that is the oxygen that we take in that we inhale helps to convert the food the, that is the digested food into energy and carbon dioxide is released or exhaled from the body so this process is known as respiration different animals have different respiratory organs so we were talking about the breathing process in animals the breathing in insects takes place through special openings that are present on the body which is known as the spiracles so they are special openings called spiracles and from these openings the air inhaled reaches into the body through small pipes called trachea the next is the breathing in fish gills help a fish to breathe and the, the gills help the fish to breathe under water the process is they take in the water taken through the gills is pushed out and in this way the oxygen enters into the body so this is the breathing process in fish next is the breathing in amphibians amphibians are animals that live both on land and in water and they help Certain amphibians come to the surface of water in order to inhale or to breathe. Next is the breathing in reptiles. Reptiles breathe, some reptiles breathe through their skin or the lungs. Next is the breathing in birds. Birds have two small holes on either side of their beak called nares that help them to breathe talking about the breathing in mammals so mammals have lungs that enable them to breathe so this is the breathing process in animals next moving on to the feeding habits of animals different animals have different types of feeding habits and the body and mouth parts are designed in such a way that it enables an a animal to eat talking about herbivores herbivores are animals that eat only the plants example are your goats cows they have teeth that enable them to cut the plants and then chew it Next is your rodents. Rodents like your squirrels and rats have sharp front teeth which enables it to break open nuts, seeds etc and chew the food. So this is about the breathing process in animals and the feeding habits of animals. We will move on to the next group of animals and their feeding habits.